As you can see, Christian, I have on the hot pot gloves, and I've had got you got safety glasses on, mm -hmm. and I have mine too, because today we're going to do some experiments that are sort of dangerous, so if you don't mind, I'll do them. Okay. okay. You know what this is? It's a pressure cooker. What happens inside there? Well, when you, when you put the weight on top, then the, and you put water inside with something in there, it'll, the water will turn into steam, and it will want to expand more. And, and there's no room for it to get out. Yeah, so so it, it's so much pressure in there. And that's why it's called a pressure cooker, cooker, right? And just to make sure that we understand there's pressure inside, your mother, your mother has a pressure cooker? Yes. Has she ever blown up a balloon with it? No. Probably not, no. Okay, but you see, there's, ordinarily there's a relief valve in there, but I'll put that balloon on the top. And then, you, then we said we needed a weight? Wait, to, to stop all the leakage. Ah, uh, it's beginning. Okay. Now, I've had that on low. Do I have oh, to turn okay. it up? Maybe, just a tad. Okay, I'll turn up the stove. Now you can see the pressure Ooh. going up, right? And I don't want to let it go too far because if that balloon would break, oh. we'd have hot water flying all, all over, over the place. place. Yes, yeah, so. But anyway, that proves that certainly there's pressure inside there, right? But now let's actually measure the pressure. And we can do that with a gauge. See that gauge down there on the table? Yeah. Okay. I'll put the cork back in the hole on the top of the pressure cooker again. Hot? Yeah. And now we'll put the gauge in there. Some pressure co cookers come with a gauge like this built right into it. In fact, this one originally had such a pressure gauge because on the back side here, you can read how much pressure you should have to cook various things. Okay, we'll turn it on. What do we need now? The weight. Okay, the weight coming up. Read the uh, pressure. Okay, let's see, half of one. Those are pounds per square inch. Oh, half a pound, one pound. Why, why, would, you, why would you want pressure to, to build up inside here anyway? Do you know? No. As the water has pressure put on it, its temperature goes up. It takes more energy to make it boil, so you can get it hotter than oh. 100 degrees Celsius or 212 Fahrenheit. So that's why food cooks faster. What's it doing? It's climbing. It's gone already to seven. Okay. Fifteen is supposed to be the maximum, according to the little diagram here. That's when you cook Swiss steaks. What'll happen at fifteen? In fact, It'll, you can see it already yeah. here. See it? How are we doing? Uh, we're at thirteen and a half. All right. Fourteen. Fourteen and a quarter. Half. Now you three see Three quarters. Okay, you see it coming out here? Fifteen. Yeah. See it coming out? Yeah. Okay. I'll turn it down. There, now you can really see it. So it automatically comes out. Yes, Pops because out. that's as much pressure as you want. Whoa. See why I wanted to have safety glasses on? Yeah. Okay, now I have a sort of my own version of a pressure cooker, but it's made out of glass. So come over here. We'll let that cool down. Here's a blowtorch, and here's a container that I'm going to use as a shield. In the blow, flame of the blowtorch, I'm going to put this little glass container that's been sealed off. But see what's inside? That looks like water. Water, yes. Yeah. So this is a little pressure cooker. All we have to do is heat it up, and we'll change that water to steam. Steam. What should happen? It should blow up. You think it will? Yeah, because it needs to get out. Okay. That's why I have this container here. So if it does blow up, it won't shatter all over the place and, and dangerous. Okay. Are you ready? Not really, but okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I get it right down there on that flame. We should get it to boil. Any minute, any second. It's big, I can see And you think docile. what'll happen to it? It's gonna explode. Starting to bubble. Oh, it's starting to bubble. Oh, no. Yeah, bubbles, bubbles. That's oh, going up. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it wasn't going to go, huh? Now you see why you never heat something in a closed container? Yeah. <laughs> because what happens to it? It, it has to get out. It, it has to get out. Has and it to. could be a dangerous explosion. And you see why I did it in this container so it wouldn't you get all over us? You see all this glass and... Okay, that's a little water. Oh, okay, water? well, thank you very much for helping me with a very dangerous experiment.